So my arms and my legs can't move. They were all convinced that I was gonna pass away very, very early. I started watching TikToks. I was apprehensive, but then I was just like, I'm just gonna post it. I don't want people feeling bad that I'm disabled. I don't want people to cry because they see me or think I'm inspiring just for simply existing. I'm using my stylus on the phone and my phone is connected through Bluetooth to my computer and it all works together. My name is Lauren, I'm 19 and I have arthrogryposis. Basically, it means that I have contractor joints and no skeletal muscle below my neck. So my arms and my leg can't move. Um, I can't, like I can't walk, I can't write. I can do basically everything with my mouth or like my chin. I need help with everything. Like, if I want to get out of bed, I need help. If I want to get dressed, I need help. I took a shower this morning, someone had to help me. And most times, it's either my grandma or my mom. Actually, 100% of the time, it's my grandma or my mom. Six weeks before she was born, they realized that she wasn't moving. Her heartbeat was strong, but she wasn't moving. She struggled after she was born. They were all convinced that I was gonna pass away very, very early first. We were given the diagnosis of maybe six months. It just set a, everybody into a depression. Mom and dad just were so fearful. After she was born, when she was off of the ventilator, I looked in her eyes and she was so alert. And I'm like, you show them what you got. I'm a sophomore in college right now. Um, I'm studying mass communications and I'm gonna get a minor in social media. Ever since I was like little, like probably 14, I wanted to like do social media. Like I just always knew I wanted to do that. So I started making YouTube videos really as a joke. And then they kind of did a, a little bit well. They would get like 250 views. But then TikTok came out and I was like, I wanna post TikToks. And then one of them blew up and got like a million likes. And now I have like 42,000 followers. A lot of people will like message me and be like, thank you for like joking about this because it makes me feel better about my disability. I started posting videos in February of this year. Mostly I try to be funny. One time somebody called me a vegetable. This person was like, can you even reproduce? And I was basically like, first of all, that's rude and offensive. Second of all, who are you to ask me that? And third of all, even if I can't, why should I care? You know what I mean? You doing anything today? Yeah, I'm probably gonna go to the park with Peyton and Trey and we might film a TikTok. I drive the wheelchair with this joystick using my chin or my cheek, just whichever is more convenient. So I think for me, I don't want people pitying me. I don't want people feeling bad that I'm disabled. I don't want people to cry because they see me or think I'm inspiring just for simply existing. My friends are probably the most important thing to me. My favorite thing about Lauren is she, she pushes me outside of my comfort zone a lot. She's really grown into herself and not really relied on what other people say or think and just kind of going with her own feelings, her own gut. I think Lauren's TikTok videos are very funny. She's very inspiring. She's very true to herself. I'm very proud that she's doing so well with TikTok and her YouTube and everything like that. So I'm really glad that she took the leap of faith and went ahead and did it because it's working out for her. It's four minutes in. Yeah. Can I show you I'm guys surprised I got so the timing as well as I did. Can you redo it? I look bad. Can you redo it? I look terrible. Oh, I, I look so gross. Ari, this is your last tape. Who are you? Hey. 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 No. So, are you excited to post this video? Yes. Literally every time I'm like, that's gonna flop, and then it doesn't, and I'm like, oh, okay. All right. No, I post it. I'm gonna post it on my Snapchat. I guess I want people to know that if they are also disabled, like that's okay. They don't need to feel bad about it. They aren't an inconvenience to their parents. People love them regardless. I think using my platform to help others with disabilities feel like they can have a voice too. And it's okay to just step out of your comfort zone and do things.